puts in a name, that which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Well, Shakespeare turns out that ain't true, especially when it comes to baby names. I don't care how cute your baby is, the pressure is on for the perfect baby name. And believe me when I say everybody you know has an opinion on your baby's name. Heaven forbid you want to name your baby Brad, but your sister-in-law once dated a kid named Brad who had rancid cheese breath. I mean, do you really want that association? Do you want baby Brad the rancid cheese breath baby? I don't think so. Believe me when I say finding the perfect baby name is not easy. Luckily, through trial and error and some pretty unique techniques, I was able to find the perfect baby name. And today I'm feeling nice. So I'm gonna let you in on that secret. This is how you find the perfect baby name. Whether you're looking for a new name for a baby or yourself, you gotta start with a list. But where do you find names to put on the list? Well, you can use your memory. You can look at objects around you. Crib, ice cream, those could be names. Maybe not good names, but they could be names. The most common places to look are books with baby names. There's a lot of websites, listicles. The Social Security Administration has a bunch of baby names. Those are all easy places to find ideas for names. If you're really interested in a family name, you can look at old family trees or ancestry.com to see if there's anything up there that you hadn't seen before. This is something that my partner and I did. There were some gems. In his family tree, the name Olga came up and in mine, the name Capitola. Now we did not end up going with those names, so those names are free for the taking. You're welcome. There are also a lot of different apps you can use that can help you find a name that you and your partner can agree on. You basically both download the app, you swipe right or left whether you like the name or not, and the names that you both like will show up on a list. So you don't even have to talk to your partner to find a baby name. And isn't that the way it should be? You can also ask social media. In my case, I asked YouTube commenters, and I got some pretty creative ones. I also got a lot of you know what, they didn't have my baby's best interest at heart. Let's just say that. But say you've checked those places and you're still like, oh, I'm not finding anything. There are some weirder places you can look. There's the obituary. And I know that sounds dark, but old timey names are making a comeback now. So you would actually be very on trend. And if you're more adventurous, you can actually go to a cemetery. I know again, that sounds very dark, but my sister, her name actually comes from my parents going to a family gravesite and finding her name. Okay, so here's a cemetery with a lot of different names. We're gonna take a look. What do you think of the name Gavlin? Ursula. I think Ursula is a cool name. And finally, when you're making the list, you might want to honor your cultural heritage. And there's a lot of different sites you can look at, but you can also just like go to the Wikipedia page of your hometown and um, see who famous is from there. Alex Azar, Frank Perdue, if you're into chicken. Or like I said, that could be a bit of a bust, just an idea. Okay, so now you have your list of name. Congrats, okay? You're like halfway there, but now the real hard work begins. How do you pick the name from this list? You probably want something that's unique, but not too unique. There's a website called Data Eyes that is a baby name uniqueness analyzer. It uses information from the Social Security Administration and it will tell you like what the chance your particular baby name has of being in the same kindergarten class with somebody of that name. That could be important to you. I had a pretty common name and so I was looking for a name that was not as common and I do not like it when someone else has my name. And my sister-in-law has my name. We are both Sarah Burton. Whether or not you wanna find something super unique, it's useful because popular baby names have been trending down. And by that I mean a smaller percentage of babies are given one of the top 10 names than would have happened 10, 20, 30 years ago. There are just more names to pick from and there are more names being used. So my baby's already gonna have a pretty unpronounceable last name. So it was important to me that their unique first name was still largely phonetic that it could be pronounced pretty easily. We have a list of names. Yeah, some of them were from the cemetery and some of them were from the name app, stuff we both liked. And I think we do have a front runner that actually showed up at both places creepily enough, but it's a name with like a lot of different spellings. And so we have to figure that out. It never ends. Another thing you'll have to deal with is how to spell the name, which can 
honestly be as controversial as the name itself. If you're between a few spellings, this is a good rule of thumb. Does this name look like it came out of the Canterbury Tales? Does it look Old English? Are there Ys all over the place? It's 2021 not 1365. Finally, probably the biggest way to narrow down the names is to find out what your baby's sex at birth will be. Um, hi, uh, my name's Sarah Burton and I just missed a call about test results. You are having a baby boy. I mean, for me, it helped me stop referring to my baby as an it, which was nice. Although this probably isn't as effective as it used to be because unisex and gender neutral names are very in right now. So you think you've zeroed in on a particular name. Now this is where stuff gets really tricky. It's the hardest part, telling other people the baby's name. Telling other people the name is the truest test of whether your baby name sucks. You can avoid this step by not telling anybody the baby's name until the baby is born. So what are people gonna look at this cute little baby and tell the baby that the name sucks? Are they gonna look at baby Brad and be like, oh Brad, you have a rancid cheese baby name, you stupid baby? No, they're not gonna do that. You wouldn't say that to a baby. You would say that to the parents of the baby. So here's what you should do. You wanna start slow, introduce the name, like give them the background, how long, how hard it was for you to get to that name. They're not gonna jump on you when they know you've been really struggling with this decision. All right, so I know I talked big game up top about how to find the perfect baby name. I know that that's the whole concept of this video. There really isn't just one perfect baby name. There's a lot of perfect baby names and they're all different for each person. There are also a lot of bad baby names and you need to be aware of those. I'll put them in a list at the end, just don't pick any of those. We actually ended up picking a name based on that app. It was one that we both swiped right on and we kept coming back to it. We have a list of names. Yeah, some of them were from the cemetery and some of them were from the name app. And I think we do have a front runner that actually showed up at both places. It's also a name you can find in several different cultures, so it's largely pronounceable. It's not in the top 100 baby names, but it is in the top 500 baby names. Uh, my husband does want to wait for us to tell everyone the name until the baby is born so you can't be mean to the baby face. But, you know, I'm making this video, so I'm obviously gonna tell you. The baby's name is going to be Burton Ramchak. Burton Ramchak. The baby's name is The baby's name is How the hell did he learn to bleep? That mother f